Good morning, everybody. It's been a while since I put up a video, but hopefully this will be some good material. I've been working on this new manga. Well, maybe not new, but um, this other manga, uh, and it's called uh, Death March Kara uh, Hajimeru Isekai Kyoso Kyoku, and it's uh, something that I've been doing on the side. This is the actual manga that was a light novel. I've been working with uh, eraser gun scans, and I came upon this wondery doll, which I thought that might be really good to kind of like tackle on together and maybe show how you should do it because it's it's something very that we can find quite a lot. This is the redraw. As you can see, it's it's got a lot of uh, ma mainly is the pattern that kind of has like a little gradient. And same with this part right here. So I was thinking that we can. I had already started working on it, but I figured I could make it a little bit more worth my my time while making the video in the meantime. So let's get right on it. Uh, the first thing that I want that I always like to do when started uh, opening a uh, a new a new redraw is uh, check the levels. Uh, first thing is I duplicate the layer from the raw and I go ahead and level it. Why? Because when I have it this way we can see that the blacks are a little bit too white there's too many specks and same with the whites there's too many gray specks everywhere so just level it up a little bit so that when I over level it's, it's a little bit better. More like a personal preference. After that I went ahead and cleaned some of the um, the text. One thing that I've always found very very helpful to me is if you go ahead and clean the text uh, that you're gonna be redrawing it just makes it a lot easier to to work with. Uh, let me go ahead and save this really quick. Okay uh, so next up is I like to create layers and these layers that I'm gonna be creating is, is pretty much a black layer so that I can add all the all the black uh, lines that I'm gonna need. Uh, that way, if I need to put a pattern, I can just put under it, and it'll it'll create um, it'll create it right there. So uh, I like to name it black, just because my OCD. And then afterwards, we just start kind of like creating the blacks. And I'll go ahead and start doing it, everything from scratch, so we can all see it together. So just use the brush tool uh like 98 maybe 100 harness and we start just making some lines if you have a little bamboo tablet kind of like a drawing tablet uh, this process will probably be easier but right now I'm just using the mouse and it comes out pretty good so you'll probably save yourself 20 bucks there 40 bucks whatever the price is here I like to use the pen tool because there's a little bit more of a side that we have to cover. some more lines around here just gotta gotta give the same original shape Okay. A little bit right 
Okay, um, let's go ahead and add this last part right here. It looks like there's some some line that goes right there. Okay, uh, let's find out pretty much the gist of it. And we just start with the blacks again so that we can um, make put the pattern under it and it'll just make it easier now when it comes to this kind of pattern uh, you have to look for a source and what I mean by that throughout the chapter there's gonna be always a page of uh, where you can find the most pattern and the thing about this pattern right here that we have to work on is that there is a gradient it's darker here it's getting lighter right here same with here it goes from here to there and this one goes from here to there so we just have to find uh, a good source where we can pull it up from so y the what you could do is either find it from another page but there is not that much maybe this one right here but it's not very it's not enough so I just went through the whole chapter I mean this is some page that I select that I'm not working on somebody else is working on uh, and I see that there is this one page number 10 that it's pretty good so I went ahead and open it and with the clone tool we just go ahead and clone it we go to the next thing the, uh, the actual page that we're actually working on I, I like to get this everything on layers because it'll just work out the best and I'll go ahead and clone that right here I want the pattern but as we can see the pattern right here is going from here to from right to left rather from bottom to top so if we go ahead and use the, this moving tool and show the transformation controls, we'll be able to see this. Hold down the shift key in your keyboard, and when you're moving it, it'll allow you to move it uh, at a set angle. So I'm going to move it so that it can be that way. Press enter. Uh, now the pattern is going from the bottom to the top. Now we need the most pattern that we can so I'm gonna go ahead and kinda like remove this line right here again I'm gonna use another layer but first I'm gonna select the source and I'm gonna put it like right there probably Okay. and we just use the clone tool to remove this black line right here I don't know if you guys can see, but the line that we just um, cleaned is a little bit darker. Uh, so let me go ahead and do a quick over level. I don't know if you can see it right there, maybe. But it's a little bit darker. And why is that important? It's because it, I mean, I, I just like to make it as perfect as I can. So there's a couple of th ways we can do this. Uh, the first one is probably the easiest one. Select the layer that you have to, you know, make it a little bit lighter. Control L for leveling. And make it a little bit lighter. Like I'll do 0 0.02 of. So, so this is the darker. So 1, 0, 1, 0, 2. I think that's about enough. We over level, and that looks like it was never there. Perfect. So we go ahead and merge them and we have our layer, our pattern that we need. Uh, we just have to now um, kind of like position it correctly. The main thing is that the boxes right here kind of match the other one, right? Pretty self-explanatory. So we'll go ahead and put it maybe just around there. I think that that looks pretty good. Okay. Now we need to show just certain parts of here so what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a clip uh, a mask right here and uh, you can use this shortcut to do it or you can use the mask and create an actual mask and now you can either select this layer or the mask layer I'm gonna select this one I'm gonna do control I for inverse color and what it does it changes the white to a black right and how this works is that you use a mask so black hides whatever you don't want to see and the white actually shows what you want to see so I'll use my, my, my brush tool right here I'll select my mask layer, I'm going to use the white color and I'm going to start just showing what I need and this is where it gets handy because this is under the black layer so it's not going to show anything under it but it will still allow me to get a nice 
Ditch. And there you have it. Now here we have a similar problem. This part is a little bit lighter. This one is a little bit darker. It looks like this one actually blends in fairly good. But this one right here is just not looking so good. So we could either try to do the same thing with the leveling, make it a little bit darker. But if we do that, well, we make this one darker. This one gets way too dark, and it just doesn't look good. So we have another solution for that. Make sure that you select the actual working layer first and we're gonna use the burn tool and here we're gonna do at zero hardness with like three percent exposure and we're gonna use mid tones and we're gonna be using a kind of interchangeably between mid tones and highlights why because as the burn tool states it burns and if we just select just about here and we kind of burn a little bit it'll start burning some of our gray so that it can match the color that we want it I'm gonna use a little bit of highlights just a quick tap and I think we got it we do a quick level doesn't look too bad leveling is always good to see if you're missing anything out and I think we got it pretty much that's pretty good cool quick tap right here and yeah there we have it I like to leave the layers there just cause like if I ever need to go back we can do it later but you can just merge it control E merge it and then there you go but I'll keep it there just in case now we have to do the same for this layer right here uh, this one probably is the biggest source that we have so we can definitely just go ahead and do a copy in the same place and we'll go ahead and create a new layer as always I'm gonna do a quick um, clone on that alright there we go let's go ahead and hide that so we don't have to see the stuff that we don't need and we'll do the same thing like removing that making sure that it kind of matches do a little bit of extra leveling probably repeating myself now that looks good we don't have to do any extra leveling we don't need to and we will go ahead and just move it over oh yeah wait for fast to the first uh, merges two layers so go ahead and merge it it's gone and we just move it over some of this easy to remove this one real quick cover pretty much everything we need to again we're gonna use the same tool the mask we'll do control I to change the 
white to a black and then we'll start using the brush tool on white while selecting the mask layer to show what we need Probably one of my favorite tools to use just because it's so handy. Now, this one, I think I'm missing a little bit of source right there, so I will just go ahead and copy this side, make sure the pattern matches, and let's copy it right there. And there we have it. It's showing this. Go ahead and add some more pattern right here. And it is finished. You can go even more detail if you like, but it is not necessary. Now, the rest is just a matter of creating the lines that you need here and there. Um, many ways to do it, either the brush tool, probably the brush tool is the best, and just kind of like outline it. Lower the opacity a little bit, make sure you use your 0% uh, hardness and kind of go around and mimic the same lines that this guy is using. This guy has like this type of a lizard skin um, lines around in his shoulders and it's really annoying because we have to be redrawing this all the time. But it is the fun of it. <coughs> and once we finished um, it'll pretty much look something, I mean that looks really bad, but it'll pretty much look something like this and again if you don't know how to redraw this just look around and look for a source and you can go ahead and copy it and get another layer under your black layers and then just add it right there. That way you save the trouble of trying to recreate something that the author you know, it took me a minute to do it. I think I'm gonna do that to be honest, because I don't. It never looks the same when you're trying to redraw some of these lines. But you can get close at least. And that's it for uh, for today's video. It's pretty much just redrawing a little bit of pattern. And I wanted to show this um, technique that I was using, which is the 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 burning of the of the patterns and how we can use them more often. I think this is uh, something that a lot of people struggle with, so we can definitely, at least I did when I was when I was learning. So at least we can save a little bit of time and make it easier on our lives. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I hope you liked the video. And if you have any questions, just feel free to drop them at the the comment box and have a great day.